everybody to my very first episode of Bikini Bug Eating! Hello everybody and welcome to my very first episode of Bikini Bug Eating! Woo! Yes, that's right. Bikini bug eating. Who knew that was a thing? Well, in fact, it's not. To be honest, I've always had a culinary wild side, meaning that I've eaten wild things in the past, and I came across this company that actually sells edible insects. They're prepared, they're freeze dried, they're cooked, and sent to you packaged right up. It's a company called Crunchy Critters. Their website is crunchycritters.com. In fact, I have a discount code for you guys in case you want to have your own little culinary adventure through Crunchy Critters, uh, which I highly recommend, I think. All of these insects are insects I've not tried before. Uh, so this could be a little wild, could be a little bit crazy, and you're gonna see me try these bugs for the first time and a genuine reaction. Now, Note, I am not really a squeamish person. Um, I never have been. In fact, the thing that freaks me out the most is touching lettuce. Whenever I touch lettuce, <laughs> I, I don't know, my lip curls, I'm just like, uh, I can do it, but it takes a lot of effort and kind of, I dread it. So, weird facts aside, uh, I'm gonna be teaching you about where these bugs come from, the cultures that typically eat them, and uh, yeah, just let you know how they taste because I'm sure that there was some point in your life that you wondered what a water bug tastes like, right? <laughs> so some of you are gonna be really grossed out. That's why I put the warning at the beginning of the video because it's not for everybody. And by no means should you go out and start picking bugs off of the street or wherever you live in the forest. Don't forage bugs yourself. Uh, you have to consume them safely and that's what I've done. Basically, all of the critters are from sustainable farms uh, or they're handpicked by local people that know where to get them and they are wild and organic. Let's get into it. Bikini! Bug! Eating! Woo! Okay, yeah, that's enough of that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is unbag them. I shouldn't say unbag them. Um, I'm going to open the package, show you what I'm eating, smell it, give my first impression, pour it into a special little dish. Uh, it's actually a little pineapple dish, just because. And I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm just gonna eat it and you're gonna see my reaction. So I'm probably gonna come in a little bit closer. All right. Wouldn't it be funny if you had an animal like a cat or a hamster and you named it Nipples? <laughs> or is that just me? Okay, so when I ordered my stuff from Crunchy Critters, I actually ordered 13 different types of insects. I won't show them all to you today because you're gonna have to wait for episode two, three, and four to see the remaining ones. But my order uh, was significant and they sent me this really cute lanyard. Isn't it adorable? <laughs> so the very first thing that I'm going to be eating are black ants. And that's right, these little guys right here. So this is the packaging. It came in this really nice little, I don't know, Petri dish type thing. It's plastic. And as you can see, it is full of crunchy critters. Apparently there's about 150 of them in here. I would guess more. Let's tear into it and see what it smells like. They are a traditional species found in China and they are typically used for tonic, oh. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, I can smell it already. <laughs> what does it smell like? <sighs> I 
I don't have to cut out three quarters of this because my nipples are showing. <laughs> so these are uh, typically consumed in China in tonics and different remedies. And they are actually harvested in Thailand. They are pressure steamed and dehydrated. So they have been cooked. Oh, it's got such a smell to it. What is it? Out it comes. Here they are. My little pineapple dish. See here? So it pokes on my face. They smell kind of gross, but almost like a black licorice kind of smell. So I'm just gonna tap some of the... <laughs> Whatever, all in. I'm gonna take my spoon and give these guys a shot. Here we go. I'm gonna take a fairly <laughs> good sized spoonful and let's see. <laughs> I think I got a rock. Okay, there are chunks of rocks. Um, wow. Uh, so they're definitely lemony. They have like a really, really acidic flavor. And they kind of taste like, uh, <laughs> they kind of taste like the smell. Kind of, I feel like I just licked a pile of rotten lemons. <laughs> Apparently they have some major health benefits and they are supposed to be good for me. So I have to say though, I hope the rest of it tastes better. On to the next. <laughs> uh, the next thing that I'm gonna try are magway worms. You know what? I need a glass of water. All right, I'm back. I had to get some water after that one. Oh, it's still, it's still. The flavor. They are from the Oaxaca Valley in Mexico. Typically they're seen in liquor bottles. So if you've ever seen like the tequila bottle with the worm in it, it's probably one of these guys. And they come in this fancy package. You can see them in here. And there you can see that there's like an oily residue. Excuse me. Mmm, that burp didn't smell right. <laughs> so, after the last batch, I am a little bit nervous. Mind over matter. I can smell them, they're down there. <laughs> Let's tear into it and see what it smells like. Typically in Mexico, they're deep fried and seasoned with like lime juice. What did I expect these bugs to smell like? We're just gonna dump a couple out in this little special pineapple dish. Okay, I got four in there. You guys can see this. They're gonna be crunchy. And there is like a weird stinger in here. I think they have little stingers in their butts because I think there's one that just came out. Oh, it's breaking apart pretty easily. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know why the worm would have a stinger. <laughs> okay, so there's four of them in here. Um, they are pretty fair size. Uh, here, let me just get you to focus on this here. So as you can see, it is a oily looking little worm. I'm just gonna eat it. Here we go. Let's take another one. Okay, so they have like a, a smoky smell to them. Taste a little bit burnt. Maybe they are, and you know what? The worst thing is, is if, if one of these packages was like rancid, how would I know? <laughs> how would I know? I wouldn't, and I'd just be like, oh man, those mangoe worms, oh, they tasted like hell. Um, actually, in fact, these don't taste too bad. 
they're probably better Mexican style, deep fried with some spices and some lime. And uh, however, my nose is running. Yeah, it's uh, it's not so bad. Uh, could be worse. All right, on to the next. These locusts. Oh God, you guys, the taste in my mouth right now. These locusts are from the Netherlands, my homeland. They're big. They're huge. They smell really stale. Really stale. They smell old. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull one out. They don't really seem to have legs. They kind of seem like they... There was, like when they're harvested, their legs get ripped off. Maybe the legs are inedible. Like they're too hard or something? Because none of, oh wait. Maybe they just break off. Oh. Anyway. Here goes. Kind of like old dried wheat or something. Does that gross you out? Sorry. Not bad. Um, the best tasting. Um, the ants and the magway worms. The ants so far have been the worst. But these little guys, I could see with like salt and pepper, sprinkle them on your pizza. Uh, but otherwise, really not bad. Uh, makes sense why they sell these tubs of them, probably because, probably because uh, they are the most consumable. Uh, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Three down, one more to go, and you guys are not gonna believe the next one. These make me nervous as hell. Okay. These are giant water bugs. There are three of them in here. Can you see this? I'm about to put one of these things in my mouth. These are also sourced from uh, a sustainable stock and uh, they're actually considered crustaceans, which is cool. They eat little, oh God. <clears throat> they actually eat little pond animals and uh, so they're considered crustaceans. <sighs> Let's see. Let's see what these things smell like first. You guys, they smell fishy. <laughs> uh, if there was, if there was a smell that I didn't want to smell coming from dead bugs, it's fish. But it makes sense because the, their diet consists of other water creatures. <laughs> Mind over matter. Let's pull one of these things out. Oh, they're kind of gross to touch even. <laughs> Look at this size of this creature. Okay, can you see, I want you to see. I want you to see his eyes. Okay. Look into his eyes. I'm about to bite his head off. They smell a little bit stale too. Kind of like a, like dried mushrooms. that a fish pooped out. Are you ready for this? Here we go. <laughs> ah, I'm sucked out. Okay, okay, okay. I think, I think touching my hair is like a nervous thing. Here we go. Ew. Ew is the right word. The oil. It's getting to me. 
Um. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay, I'm not gonna spit it out. I knew a gag was gonna happen. I just swallowed chunks that should have been swallowed whole. Oh my god. Guys. The wings. The wings. You can see the grease. You can kind of see the grease. See it? Anyway. those in now. Kind of like eating grass. Dry grass. <sighs> They're down. done so let's sum everything up ew gross yuck and actually not so bad all right well I can check those bugs off my list and you guys I'm really worried because the bugs I got coming up they are not gonna taste half as good as the ones that I just ate. I don't know what to say. I got like chunks of, chunks of wing and leg, eyeball and probably like bug poop. You guys, even though the things that I just ate were pretty gross. Like, I mean, I'm talking like things that I've never imagined I would ever eat. Uh, and they don't taste very good, I have to say. But keep in mind that the cultures that eat these bugs don't necessarily eat them raw or dried. They season them, they cover them in chocolate, they put them in tequila. Man, I, next time, I think the next episode I'm gonna have a shot in between each, each bug. <laughs> they had fun. I think that this is something that uh, everybody should try. You know, I mean, safely, of course. Uh, the company, like I said, that I ordered from is called Crunchy Critters www.crunchycritters.com <laughs> All these birds. And I have a coupon code for you right here. EDU10 for 10% off your purchase. So you can, you know, if you're having a party or something, it'd be actually interesting to bring out the locusts and the water bugs and dare your friends to eat them make a little challenge. Uh, it's an unexpected thing for sure, to say the least. <laughs> Next episode, there are gonna be three more insects and it just gets worse as I go on. How can it get worse than this? It can, trust me, trust me. I didn't puke, I gagged. Um, I think next time I'll make sure to have twice as much water and maybe some tequila. <laughs> tequila will make everything better. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I wanna know if you've ever eaten anything crazy, if you've ever eaten an insect, or even just snake, alligator, ostrich meat, I don't know. Uh, leave in the comments down below the crazy things that you've eaten. Uh, if you have a suggestion for something else you'd like to see me try, I would like to try to find a century egg, like a 100 year old egg. Would you have the guts to eat what I just ate? Bug eating, also known as entomophagy, is practiced all around the world. North America, not so much. Uh, but it's not an abnormal thing to eat bugs. And 
honestly, for the future, proteins like from mealworms or crickets, uh, I think will become more common because of people like me, <laughs> the bug advocate. But hopefully they taste a little bit better than that. So give this video a thumbs up. Give me a like if you enjoyed this video. It would really mean a lot to me. <laughs> and um, please subscribe. I have three more episodes coming up after this one and a ton more bikini hauls. I have four companies now that I'm working with. And follow me on Instagram. If you want to become one of my little wonder cats, go to www.patreon.com slash catwonders and support me on my adventures and journeys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was wild and crazy, uh, but it's something that I can check off my bucket list. Well, three bugs anyway, because I have, I have more bugs coming. And I, like I said, I don't even want to talk about it anymore. <laughs> I'm finished with it right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.